What we have here is a one, two, three, four, five fold pulley system. So I can lift up an iron grate all by myself and I don't have to call anybody for help. This is the true spirit of individualism. It only took me eight hours to build. Eight. Eight! Well, dude, it's no wonder you're attracting maggots. You smell like grim death. I'm sorry, buddy. Look, your gravesite comes with its own flowers. That's a wonderful thing. You are beautiful. You must have died this morning. Your eyes are still intact. Oh, my mistake. There it is. Oh yeah, baby. One-handed. Hey. Today seems to be the day of dead animals. This is an old one. Maybe I'll put these feathers in my hair. At war with the bees. I just got stung in the crotch by a bee. And that's after one stung me in the shoe, like under my shoe. He like got in under my shoe and then stung me on the top of the foot. And I don't like that. So I'm at war with the bees. Cayenne. Peppermint. Lunch. Lunch. Cinnamon. Pure Castile soap. When I whipped off my pants to inspect and to discover the bee and kill him really badly, there was no bee to be found. There was just my pants inside out on the ground and the pinprick, the red pinprick where he had stung me. It was a total hit and run. Yeah, I'll, I'll not say the other joke. This happens to be Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. I met the son of Dr. Bronner once. I was in a Greek restaurant on the east side of Milwaukee with my former associate, also known as my ex-wife, and we were reading the story I was writing and cracking up, and the son of Dr. Bronner comes over and says, what's so funny, what's so hilarious, you guys are great. And he paid me 50 bucks to send him the story when I finished. And then he wrote me a nice letter back saying it sucked. That story was the story about the Vincent Hoarder and his time-traveling clock machine. He said he kept waiting for something to happen. I don't know, I thought something happened. A bunch of guys in a Mexican grocery store arguing about science, and then they get on the clock machine and go back in time. That's the end. I don't know. Hitler got killed. I mean, I feel like something's happening there. Anyway. If I ever finish rewriting the story, I'll let you all know and you can purchase a copy. So I'm just stirring up the soap. I could have bought liquid soap, but it was tea tree oil and this bar of soap was peppermint. Peppermint, bees hate peppermint, so I'm doubling up on the peppermint because I couldn't find peppermint extract. I mean, you know, like peppermint oil, like that you smell or apply to things. Peppermint extract, of course, is just sugar water and alcohol with a few drops of peppermint oil in it. But it's the best I could find at the grocery store. Criminy. Where's the child when... It's probably overkill. It just said a few drops. Cayenne. Cinnamon. I'll let that steep for a little bit. <laughs> when I was a kid, my brother stepped on a hole in the ground that bees were coming out of. And then he was afraid to move his foot because they'd attack him. And instead of helping him or showing him there's nothing to be afraid of, I just laughed at him, told him he was stupid, and I walked away. 
down the street with our child molester who was buying us lunch. So, Mikey Fist, if you're watching this video now, I just want to let you know that I, that haunts me to this day. I'm still upset about it. Treating you poorly. I'm afraid to put my hand in there and I gotta pour this mixture. All, oh my goodness. Uh, they, didn't, they weren't bothering me last time, but now I think they know. I think they know it's the end. Eviction, assholes. There's more where that came from, bastards. Got a little stir. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like you're loving this, you jackasses. Oh, I should've... Whatever. Items used in B repellent. I guess our staff. Uh, and this would go under missions. All right, staple that on there and we're done.